Hey Cancers, so today um, we're going to do your reading and see, just a little, there we go, alright, so um, yes, let's see where you're at with life, um, I'm going to start with my Mystic Martian deck, let's see what we can get going. Somebody's blowing up the phone. They can wait. Um, let's see. But, yeah, anyway. Let's get started. Sorry for all the noise pollution in the house. <laughs> uh, let's see. Syrians, right? So this is um, responsibilities, lessons, and growing up, right? That's really fucking good energy. Um, that's just you going on your whole self-development, um, really making some changes for the better, right? We have the Lyrans, right? This is um, strength, courage, and bravery. That is something that is inherent in cancers. I have Never met braver people, to be honest. <laughs> so then we have the Galactic Federation. Um, this is collaboration, meetings, and community. So I feel like you're you're like getting out there, getting in tune with your community, really um, building like uh, connections, new friendships, um, all kinds of stuff. Then we've got the Syrians again, but this is Syrians A, and that one was Syrians B. Um, and this is saying um, that you are artistic, you have integrity, and you live in honesty. Um, then we have the uh, Venusu, Venusians. <laughs> They're um, from Venus, okay? Um, yeah, and so this is romance, soulmates, and empathy, right? So in your development, I feel like you are learning a lot about togetherness, right? Like really combining forces with others. Um really fucking good um this is exactly where you should be on your journey you know this is really tapping into your higher self and that's what really leads you into your um into your togetherness not only with friends but with romance apparently you know um you know tapping into your natural abilities um and everything else that's going to really help you and guide you along the way. Um, let's see. I feel, um, I feel that you are just really striving to be better. Um, like you're really, um, reaching a, an emotional maturity that, um, that you really had to go through a lot of life and mistakes to get there, right? Um, we've all been there. <laughs> um, so let's see. Okay. So we have the Princess of Cups in reverse. So I would take this as your energy. Um, that maybe, though you're not actively looking... Um, love I feel like it might kind of find you uh, with the four of discs in reverse you're not seeking to have power and dominion over people um, three of swords um, this would kind of explain why your princess of cups is in reverse it's um, you've been through some heartbreak you know you've been through some shit that comes with all the life lessons you know and all the things uh, seven, we've got debauchery. So, um, I would say that you are somebody who is, um, what's the best way to word this? I would say, uh, you're a little indulgent, right? 
sexually, um, food-wise, just kind of whatever gets you going, you're a little indulgent in it. Um, that's very okay. Sometimes we gotta be, right? Sometimes that's part of the lessons. Um, I would say, you know, don't harm others in the process, but I don't see you as doing that. Because right now you're kind of with your with your homies, with your and just moving forward in life, right? Um I don't know. I don't see it as a bad thing. Um I mean if you were in a relationship, then it would probably be a bad thing. Then it would be like you're unfaithful, but I don't see it like that. I feel like the soulmates that are coming into alignment right now are future energy. Um, I don't feel like you're currently in union. Um, but, you know, what do I know? Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong or right or whatever. <laughs> Your feedback definitely helps me. Um, so yeah, let's clarify this Princess of Cups in reverse. Like, maybe you've redacted your um, emotions a little bit because you felt like um, like it was uh, futile, you know? You felt like emotions were not serving you, and so you kind of went into debauchery mode a little bit. Um. Okay. Eight of Swords, so a little internal conflict, right? But also this, Swords talks about um, communication, and eight is a number of mastery, right? So you might be mastering communication, right? And maybe communication was something that um, kind of uh, got this, like, Three of Swords, you know, um, into play, like that, that hurt, that heartbreak that you've gone through. Three of Cups right so this is really coming together this is coming together with your friends this is collaboration it goes back to that um galactic federation um four of wands building a foundation for yourself and building a life that you really want you know rather than um i feel like you're choosing your direction right now um right now you're choosing direction in life um, a Five of Cups, okay, so, um, Five of Cups talks about, um, kind of releasing past hurt, releasing anything that was kind of lingering in the past to really set you up for a future. Um, in the picture, it's like a, a, a monster pooping into a toilet, <laughs> so, uh, it's really showing me, like, that you are relieving yourself of the waste of the past. Um, <laughs> I love the imagery in these cards. I, I like, that's what drew me to this deck in the first place. I was like, that's like Rick and Morty. I love that. I mean, look at that. It's so, <laughs> it's fun. I don't know. I love that. Um, and then we have Page of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so, um, I feel like with the Page of Pentacles in reverse, like, right now, at the forefront of your mind, it isn't so much your career. Um, it's almost like you feel like you're okay there, like you're fine. Um, but I do feel the sense that you do want growth, you know? But I feel like you know which direction you're going with this Four of Wands, you know? Queen of Swords, all right. So yeah, um, to clarify the Princess of Cups, we've got the Queen of Swords. So yeah, it's something that, um, that was like a past love that kind of, um, didn't work out and you're releasing that right now, um, to reach a higher, a higher sense of self, right? Um, uh, let's get with our Hermet Hermetic Tarot. Um... And then we will clarify your debauchery. What's going on with that? Um, and you know with this Three of Swords, I feel like it's really tied into this like heartbreak. That it kind of like, it threw you into a point of like self-indulgence. To kind of like band-aid your wounds a little bit. Um, 
It's like self-indulgence kind of, it was like a method of healing. It wasn't necessarily the healthiest method, but it does distract and it does help you to um, push forward, you know? So we've got the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is all about communication coming in. Um, this is all, you know, it's like rushing in. Um, then we have the Devil card, right? <laughs> um, I actually uh, dated a Cancer once, and he often said, I am the Devil. So um, here's to you if you're watching. Um, but also, it explains this debauchery a bit. That's like self-indulgence. That's definitely Devil energy, right? Like... A little self-serving, um, but probably because you felt like nobody else really took care of you in the way that you could take care of yourself. And so you um, kind of found yourself in through that, you know? Uh, five of Cups again. Okay, so yeah, this is a loss in pleasure, right? This is relieving yourself of that past energy. This is uh, letting go of any blockage inside of you. Um, the last judgment in reverse. So I feel like, um, karma has kind of hit you. Um, I feel like you're kind of recovering from that a little bit. Like it kind of threw you on the right track. It helped you to grow up, um, and really grow into yourself. The lovers in reverse. Okay. So that's kind of confusing with the Venusians, but in clarity for the debauchery, this makes sense. Um, it's like you had to release past love, past, past things that were going on, right? Um, the high priestess, you had to really reach into your, uh, spirituality a bit. And like, really, um, really get in touch with your, um, divine calling, your divine purpose, um, divine guidance, you know? So, yeah, and so let's see this future energy with the Venusians, because I really, um, I want to see what's going on there. We'll clarify that a bit. And with this, we're using my Light Seers deck. This one, I feel like it sheds light on situations. So it's like, you know, we've kind of talked about what brought you into your current um, state, your current state of being. Um, so yeah, let's see. And with the High Priestess and the Devil, I definitely feel like... Um, this is kind of your divine life path to kind of sort yourself out in this way. Um, to kind of see what what serves you and what doesn't, releasing what doesn't, and bringing in what does. Um, let's see. So Venusians, let's clarify that. Eight of Pentacles in reverse. 
and Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, so um, this is not a direction that you saw yourself heading. This is not the uh, cycle that you were intending to grow in. This is kind of like hitting you out of nowhere. I don't even know if you are aware that this is something in the works for you right now. Um, yeah, I feel like this is, <laughs> um, this is really fucking fascinating. That's what it is. Uh, let's see. Fascinating. Okay, so, um, let's see. Yeah, so Three of Swords, um, this is, and then with the Chariot, this is moving on from past heartbreak, which we kind of already discussed. Um, the Tower, things had to fall apart so that you could rebuild yourself, so you could restructure yourself. Um, you learned a lot of life lessons through this heartbreak, and it really kind of, shoved you in onto the path here right it shoved you into the direction um of finding balance right with this justice card there's a lot of balance for you um and it's like karma got served in every direction you know um and then with the four of pentacles i feel like maybe holding on to money is not your forte like getting money is probably not an issue it's holding on to it once you got it but you're like eh, well you know and but everybody's been getting this since christmas started like since i want to say like black friday everybody's been getting these cards saying that they're bad with money and so what i'm taking from that is if you're spending money on the holidays the universe is like noticing and so it, just don't even take that too seriously um you know it is what it is uh four of cups in reverse yeah you don't believe in the magic of of this kind of love right like I, you don't see it coming it's like hitting from like she's looking out here at the mundane and somebody's passing this cup of magic and it's just like i'm right here where you can't see me you're like too busy looking over there like you know um but it's like it's coming at you from kind of nowhere uh cups is all about emotions too all about love and building foundation with the number four um so yeah Let's see. All right. So overall, overall, um, what is the outcome of your current path? Um, where are you headed? Um, I feel like somebody is noticing you that you are not currently noticing yet. Uh, <laughs> and you will, um, cause that communication is going to rush in. Uh, but it's gonna kind of hit out of nowhere. It's gonna strike like this tower, like you're like lightning. You're gonna be like, whoa, okay. Um, and with the chariot too, it could represent moving in general, like actually moving. Um, so you might be moving toward this soulmate, and not even realizing it. The Fool, go into the unknown and follow your heart. Okay, I like that. Three of Pentacles, you will be co-creating with somebody, right? Um, that's so cute. It's like a little mom, dad, little child. I don't know. I see, uh, I see you co-creating here, like really growing together. Um, Six of Wands in reverse. So this is like kind of feeling... Um, they feel under-acknowledged by you at this time. Um, 
just seeing with this energy here in this four of cups it's like they feel like you're not seeing them okay <laughs> that's the funniest part you're not seeing them um i feel like and then with the six of pentacles like um there might be like or six of pentacles in reverse sorry um, but they might be feeling like there's, um, an imbalance of money, which, like I said, the holidays, whatever, they've probably got a lot of bills, probably got shit going on, a lot of shopping to do. Um, and then we've got the star card, and this is really, like, finding that light in the darkness, you know? Um, so, you, you, you will find it. <laughs> you will find it. Uh, you just kind of gotta go into the unknown allow the universe to kind of move you in that direction right um because your soulmate is noticing you and you're not noticing them um that's kind of funny <laughs> uh it's like you you're just totally like your attention is elsewhere at this time and they're kind of like bro i'm right fucking here and you're just like did you guys hear something? You know, it's like you're just not paying attention to it at this time. Um, so I'm going to get you some advice uh, before we close this out. Um, just, you know, I mean, I feel like I got you some pretty good advice. But let's give you a little bit more with the oracles and see, like, what could help push things along, right? So commemoration, this is kind of like nostalgia, like you might be looking back at some good, better times right now and just kind of like, and that might be why it's hard to look at the future because you're like, still like, you're healing, you know, you're healing, you're going through some shit, um, but not bad shit, it's like growth shit, you know, um, nature of the beast, really tap into your nature, right, your higher nature, the nature of you that is sweet and caring and artistic and you know you know you you know you know you deep down underneath all the rough exterior under I mean we all know cancers have that rough exterior but we also know cancers have that nougat center where they're just like sweet as fuck okay we know that so release yes yeah, so release the past okay um, it's okay to commemorate it, to have that nostalgia, to, to be, you know, to really look back on that stuff and be like, you know, that was a great time, whatever, I learned my lesson. Um, but like, it's, it's time to release it, to move forward onto like greater horizons at this time. Um, this is so beautiful. I feel like. There's just so much growth for you here. Um, and you know, today is 12, 22, 21, which is a mirror number. Um, so typically twin flames start catching wind of each other if they haven't already uh, during this time. They start diving into that journey. Um, and that journey can be a journey, okay? It's like... It's a whole fucking thing. But I see that you are strong enough to do this. To really put in the work for something that is meant to last. That is meant to give you that longevity. That's meant to really bring you 
full circle, you know, into yourself, into the, the best attributes of yourself, you know? Um, so, that's pretty much what I have for you today. Um, so, namaste. Thank you so much for your time, and um, I can't wait to do this again. And we'll see you next time. Uh -uh.